What's going on guys? Welcome back to Texas Wilds. Uh, this one's different. I'm sure you've seen catch and cook videos. I'm sure you've seen survival videos and all that stuff. And this isn't necessarily either one of those. Um, it is a catch and cook. And it is kind of a survival. However, there's really no real danger out here other than the mountain lions. Anyway, uh, there really is one out here. But, nah, who cares? Uh, anyway, here's the deal. It is now... 10 to 5 on Friday. I'm going to be out here until around 9 a.m. Sunday morning. Um, I don't know, is that 36 hours? I don't know. You do the math. Whatever, how many hours? But um, anyway, I only brought water because I don't want to get crazy with it and I really don't feel like boiling that nasty brown water out there. So I'm burning daylight right now. I'm going to go ahead and get my camp set up. I'm going to be doing a tent and hammock, depending on the weather tonight. We're calling, they're calling for some storms. So, um, in this hot, muggy, humid weather, let's do this. So I'm not sure if I said it earlier or not, but they're calling for some, some storms tonight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put tarps over my little setup over there. As you can see, it's uh, very similar to the Taj Mahal. All right, guys, it is hot, it is humid, it's been raining, it's gonna continue to rain, but the shelters are set up. I kind of cheated to use a side-by-side -side as a tie-off, but I, eh, it, it works. Um, now, also one more thing. Okay, I cheated three ways. One, I used a side-by-side. -side. Two, I brought water. And three, I brought dry wood. Cause it's been raining for like two weeks straight and I wanted to be able to get a fire going. So, um, before I start that, I'm going to bait up a line, get it out there and see if I can't catch dinner. And, um, in the meantime, while that's going on, I'll give me a fire going if I can. Tell you right now, this is hard on a fat guy. Hey. Look at that, fam. Wooden steak. Tell you what, guys. Setting up the shelter, it's not hard. It's just time-consuming and tedious. I think I said in the beginning that this was a survival slash catch and cook and I kind of want to edit that because this is not survival. Um, it, it's like a mini survival deal because there's no actual danger as I said, but I am going through this and I'm not going to be eating anything unless I catch it or shoot it or whatever. But um good thing i brought bug spray but uh like i was saying uh yeah if i want to eat i gotta kill it 
whether it be a fish, whether it be a rabbit, a coon. Uh, I got some live traps set back there somewhere that I'm about to go grab and uh, put some. I brought some apples down here, and yes, that, that's food, but it's not for me. I'm only putting those apples in the live traps. I brought two, and there's two live traps. So I'm going to cut the apples in half and put them in the live traps. But for now, let's get this line in the water and see if we can't get a fire going. All right, guys, full disclosure, I've never done this before. All right. I'm not done trying to start a fire with that ferro rod because I'm going to continue to try to do that later because uh, I brought a backup plan now so one thing's for certain already I gotta practice my ferro rod skills I'll work on it primitive ways of starting a fire not working for me fortunately I got a backup plan to a backup plan to a backup plan hang on Eh, gotta do what you gotta do, right? I think some of these mosquitoes down here are big enough, I might be able to catch some of them and eat them. Hey. So, after a little bit of lighter fluid and uh, splitting some wood and finding some dry wood, because apparently this wasn't all that dry on the dry on the outside but once I started splitting it it's pretty good uh, I give a lot of credit to those of you out there that could start a fire from scratch with a ferro rod I uh, I got a long ways to go so we split some more wood here except this little hatchet I got sucks so I'm having to use a hatchet and a hammer but I got a fire going guys not the way I wanted to let that grow a little bit let it get established and I'll add some more stuff to it hope I'll get a fish on that line out there and uh, I actually get to eat something this evening All right. Fire is kind of struggling. Uh, it's just really humid. Got a lot of moisture in there, I guess. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep trying because that fire is gonna be my my lifeline tonight, I guess. All right, guys. The fire has si finally decided to get going. Um, I just opened my two tubs of worms that I brought. They're all. Um, they're all dead. There's like this nasty pus looking stuff all in there, mucus um, in there. So they're all dead. So I'm thinking about here in a bit, I'm gonna go digging for some worms. Uh, either that or I brought soft plastics to use, but I don't really wanna waste time out there trying to catch fish with, a, with soft plastics if I don't have to, but if I have to, I have to. Anyway, let's keep chugging along. Well, folks, the sun is starting to set. I have yet to catch a fish. Although, a minute ago, I said a minute ago, about 30 minutes ago, 
really upset with myself that I didn't take the camera because right around that bend over there see around back there I had those two traps so I took a walk to go get those traps and set them and as soon as I'm walking about 80 yards that way I fawn spots everywhere I mean this thing wasn't even to my knee hops up out of the out of the tall grass and takes off and it was just that thing was beautiful it stopped about 20 yards from me and looked back at me and then took off again but that thing was beautiful and it's just, I love being out in in nature like this being outdoors and just seeing God's creation because there ain't nothing better than that I'll keep trying to catch something to eat um, I put some bait out there on the tank dam hopefully attract some some rabbits or something like that but uh i think my bobber just moved nah anyway i am also making some coffee because why not tell you what folks this is work i'm not even in bad conditions right now um i mean it's nothing that's you know not manageable but uh it's work, for sure. Getting the fire going was pretty difficult. I've never tried to start a fire with a ferro rod before. And uh, clearly it did not work. The wood, the wood was wet. I thought it was dry. But I got some cedar shavings in there drying out overnight. Haven't got any food yet. Coffee's on the bowl getting dark you can hear the bullfrogs singing i guess if i get too hungry i can go shine some frogs what well, fire's going now ain't it but, so i guess i'm going to sit here and enjoy this fire and uh, if anything comes up this evening or tonight i'll kick the camera back on and share the experiences with you guys all right guys night one no food, but we got a fire. Uh, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I chose the tent for the night because I think it's supposed to rain. Um, see y'all in the morning. All right, guys. Let's go for a walk and see if we can't get a rabbit or a squirrel or something like that. See how the fire situation is going. All right, folks, let's go check our traps. Looks like we got nothing. All right. Plan C. Let's keep fishing. Tell you what, I can go for some food right now. Whether it be fish or rabbit, squirrel, I don't care. Okay, guys, I took a stroll through the woods. Brought the gun. I didn't bring the camera because I didn't feel like lugging around the gun and the cameras. But it paid off because uh, now I got lunch and probably dinner. So y'all hang out. I'm going to get this thing processed. Get it over there to smoke for a while and we'll eat.
I'm gonna go rinse it off in the in the water, string it up and smoke it for a while. Well guys, upon cleaning it off, it's full of worms. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That thing's full of worms. Sorry. I'm not a big fan of the wacky rig. So I just tied one on. I went out there just to see if I catch a fish. First cast. Yeah. Wacky rig for the win. Got about two more hours to smoke, maybe three. Then I'm gonna throw it on the grate, sear it, and I'm gonna have me some dinner. I'm fat and I'm starving. And this guy's gonna be good. By the way, this was, uh, I pulled this out of the gut of that bass. A few weeks ago when I was out here, I had a fish take the pink fluke off of me. I guess that's it. All right, it's time to sear this fish. As you guys saw earlier, that rabbit that I got that unfortunately I couldn't do anything with. Uh, it was a really clean kill. And if you're squeamish or uh, don't like guts, look away for the next few seconds because here was the kill shot. It dropped and you know all that but I'm using its guts for uh, bait however I did not catch this fish on the uh, on those guts I caught that on a, a wacky rig first cast I wish I would have the camera going I, I'm terrible at this camping and keeping the camera with me thing because I'm used to just being on the kayak or having you know a camera on my hat something like that so you guys have actually missed out on catching this fish you, and you really missed out on the full of uh, fawn that i saw last night when i was going to set the traps that was that was awesome that thing was tiny it was like maybe 20 yards from me something like that but uh it was beautiful i love being out here um so anyway i'm gonna let this fish cook for a bit and I'm gonna get something to eat. I gotta get my fire. Actually, it's actually pretty good. So I've been just twiddling my thumbs out here waiting for this to cook. I made me a little uh, a little name thing for my daughter and right here. Yeah, I've just been trying to keep busy. I took a little siesta in the hammock a minute ago, that's why. I, I had to go over there and put my knife back on. I forgot that I'd taken my knife off. I don't want to wear this thing on my belt in the hammock and tear the hammock. So anyway, guys, I'm going to let this thing cook. I'm going to eat and I'll probably make something else, whittle something else. I don't know. Stick around. That's warm. I love bass. I love catching bass. I love eating bass. However, I've only eaten bass a few times because I am, as you guys have probably seen, uh, I'm a catch and release guy through and through. Um, however, in this situation where this is my only source of food, I'm all about it. And that is good. That is really good. And yeah, it's... Uh, it's like four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Why wouldn't I be drinking coffee? You can't beat campfire coffee.
you just can't. And that's still pretty hot. So yeah, the plan is tonight I am going to, you know, sleep here. And in the morning, I gotta go to church tomorrow. Uh, I missed last week because my daughter was sick and I can't miss this week. Uh, I don't like missing church anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wake up and I might do a quick, you know, good morning thing like that on here. I don't know, that's, that's still up in the air. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wake up and go to church. And then, and if I have time, I'll probably break some of this stuff down in the morning. So there'll probably be some video. But uh, if I don't get it all broke down, I'm going to go ahead and leave it up. And then come back after church, break everything down, and call this weekend a success. I got food. Well, I would have had more food, but it had worms. What are you going to do? Well, fish ain't biting. I don't get that. There's activity all over the place. Of course, a lot of it's frogs, but um, I guess let's go check our traps one more time. See if we can't cook something different for dinner. Nope, they ain't tripped. And everything's still in there. Well, we got nothing in our traps. But, I mean, at least I have a lot of that fish left. It'll be dark in about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. I don't know. Maybe two hours. But I think I'm just going to try my hand at some more fish and maybe be catch and release because I got enough fish for tonight. But I don't know. Sit back and relax being in the outdoors. Or who knows? Maybe I'll just sit here and stare at the fire because that's what men do. All right, guys, I think it's about bedtime for me. It's like 9 o'clock, and it's like 90 degrees out here. It sucks, but anyway, I'm going to get up early and take down camp, or I, don't know, I may just do it tomorrow afternoon. The wind's kicking up. Uh, yeah, but I've had a lot of fun. I've, I've learned a few things, and I've learned that I need to improve on a few things. But anyway, I'll see you on the morning. Good morning. Well, that's 36 hours in the woods. Uh, I woke up about 30 minutes ago. Sun's up. It really wasn't too bad. Um, got the one fish that was delicious and the rabbit that I shot. And I, I don't like killing animals for nothing. I'm not that kind of person. Unless it's wild pigs. But, uh, I mean, I was I was planning on eating that rabbit, and it sucks that it had worms and all that stuff, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know I enjoyed being out, and it's been awesome. I had a lot of fun. Learned that I can't use a ferro rod at all. I will definitely be doing this again, just probably not solo. Uh, it does get a little bit lonely out here, but uh, so I guess until next time, guys. God bless. We'll see you later.